we are given f of x equals 3 times the square root of x plus 2 and asked to solve f of x equals 7. Because we are asked to solve f of x equals 7, we substitute 7 for f of x here and solve the resulting radical equation. So substituting 7 gives us the equation 7 equals 3 times the square root of x plus 2. To solve the square root equation, we first isolate the square root and therefore the first step is to subtract two on both sides. Simplifying, on the left seven minus two is five, we have five equals. On the right two minus two is zero, and therefore on the right side we just have three square root x. The next step is to divide both sides by three to isolate the square root of x. So on the left we have five thirds equals on the right. Three divided by three simplifies to one, we just have the square root of x. Now that we've isolated the square root, the next step is to raise both sides of the equation to the power of the index, and because we have a square root, the index is two, and we square both sides of the equation. The square of five thirds is equal to five squared over three squared, which gives us 25 ninths. On the right side, squaring it does a square root, and the right side simplifies perfectly to just x. So our solution is x equals 25 ninths. But now let's verify this is the solution by substituting 25 ninths for x back into the original equation. So performing substitution, we would have seven equals three times the square root of 25 ninths plus two. Well, we know the square of 5 thirds is equal to 25 ninths, and therefore the square root of 25 ninths is 5 thirds, which gives us seven equals three times 5 thirds plus two. Simplifying before multiplying, we can think of three as three over one. Here we have a common factor of three. There's one three and three here and here. Now multiplying, notice how we just have one times five, which is five, giving us seven equals five plus two, and five plus two is seven, which does verify the solution is correct. Our solution is x equals 25 ninths. I hope you found this helpful.